What is up guys, Fahan here and this is our first ever Kimco scooter review This is the review of the Kimco DTX 360 Huge thanks to Motorsport Private Limited and Chalk Ike International for loaning me this bike for the review Alright, so let's get started with the riding review of the DTX 360 uh, Starting it up um, Not really straightforward <laughs> You have to press on the ignition Till there's a beep Twist the ignition And you see the gauge cluster lighting up Press on the brakes Starter Off we go so uh, this race at 184 kg, uh, bulky also, so kind of heavy and intimidating. But off the gecko, right? When I had this bike yesterday, I didn't have problems adapting to it. You know, it handles pretty well, handles really like a dream. With the switchable traction control, right? It grips to road really well. Right now, the traction control is off, uh, but still, it's kind of grippy. And with the traction control on. The TCS traction control system in Kimco's words it gives the tarmac even more so I feel very much confident taking in the corner and negotiating a bend and I'm even confident to go lower <laughs> when I'm negotiating a corner so uh, the TCS I can able to switch on and off it's right here very easy and the logo disappears it may feel bulky at first it may look intimidating because of its wide nature right you quickly get used to the handling and adapt to it lah. it's really a uh, easy bike to handle and yeah the right height is 80 cm and i'm 165 but because the scooter is wide right i'm basically tiptoeing right now and the ball of my foot is able to reach the ground i think it, for vertically challenged riders, uh, somebody shorter than me can be an issue uh, Especially with the weight right, but other than that, it's okay lah And being a scooter, it's built to mitigate the city streets So start-stop situation, no issues, there's no clutch for you to control Or gear for you to change, you know, or neutral gear in fact <laughs> It's just a simple twist and go I like the feel of the buttons on this bike, you know, the, but the handlebar controls, the buttons, they are really clicky, uh, very responsive, nice to the touch. Okay, so making a left into Jalan Belangkas, just gonna test the DTX 360 in a slow speed situation. And narrow roads, no issues, you are able to negotiate pretty well. And I like the engine sound. The engine sound is a very mellow, deep kind of sounding engine, you know. <laughs> and I'm not even putting my legs on the ground, you know. <laughs> it really takes in the corners very well, like sharp corners, slow speed situation. It's a really awesome handling bike. Uh. And <laughs> the tone indicators to me are kind of funny because. You can hear or not? Like, macam car, no? This bike actually, the suspension has been upgraded to the YSS rear suspension Really absorbs most of the road infections, bumps and road markings And it's really a good addition lah to get the YSS suspension <laughs> And there's instant top when you need it, you know. Despite being a uh, 320 cc, right? I'm surprised at the top of uh, the DTX 360. Uh, it's quite good, uh. Almost has a class two kind of uh, acceleration to it. I'm comparing this with um, okay, I could just compare this with X-Max because I've ridden the X-Max before, and I have to say, in terms of handling, in terms of torque, in terms of riding feel right yeah the dtx performs much better um, when you are riding down the road right you don't really feel you're going that fast it feels very stable you can feel the difference 
in the center of gravity and how the tires hug the tarmac you know when you're riding as compared to the x-max it's much more prominent so you feel much more confident to take that corner to lean in even more you know but you have to take the necessary precaution at the end of the day this is still a scooter so you cannot really corner barring as uh, like moto gp but you'll be more confident to take in the corner and negotiate the corner faster lah. that is my personal opinion lah. so city streets it does pretty well let's get into the highway and see how the DX 360 performs uh, I've been riding this bike a lot yesterday uh, I have to comment uh, it's really a dream to ride it you know? and I really love the gauge cluster it, it looks it's actually LCD screen uh, but there's, there's a colored LCD but it looks like it's a TFT display you know? so clean and so uh, pleasing to the eye you know and it's not too bright you know and it, until it distracts you so one of the features that i like is this uh, I, I like this the most oh my god <laughs> it really feels like a car man when you're turning the indicators on you know <laughs> and riding posture is very comfortable uh, i have to say that uh, sitting on it yesterday when i brought out this bike i ridden about it the whole day uh, my butt isn't pain at all uh, it's a very comfortable sitting position but because of its wide nature right i feel as if i have to uh, spread my legs out even more you know <laughs> it's almost similar to the x-max uh, i i must say and not to mention the brakes the stock brakes on this very strong stops on a dime you know and there's also abs so it won't fish tail in case you slammed on the brakes you really feel confident uh, when you're riding this bike uh. The Kimco DTX 360 made its debut in late 2020, marketed as an adventure-oriented maxi scooter. The DTX 360 is fitted with dual sport tyres to help it transverse through rough roads and light off-roading. Despite its adventure status, it is very much practical as a maxi scooter should be, with features for comfort and just enough electronic aids for the rider, providing a versatile machine for the long-distance touring trips. Engine is a 320.6cc single cylinder 4 stroke 4 valve SOHC with fuel injection and an automatic CVT transmission. As you guys can see, the bike that I received from Motorsport um, is already well equipped with <laughs> accessories. I think it's even more accessorized than my NC 50 so <laughs> uh, this is probably a first for a demo bike. I mean, usually dealers. Uh, they wouldn't want to accessorize a demo bike too much but i think having a uh, motorsport actually being a subsidiary of chok Ike, right they have the benefit of all of the accessories in hand so that they can actually put it on this bike to show to their customers uh, the kind of accessories that you can actually put on a dtx 360. But just to name a few that i have observed uh, there's a shard aluminum box adjustable windscreen adjustable anonized brake levers aftermarket hand guards, exhaust protectors and sliders, fog lamps, phone mount, and upgraded twin YSS rear suspension. Riding position, um, as you can see, pretty much uh, sitting upright, like you're sitting on a chair, you know, and the floorboards, they are really uh, huge, and there's like other options for you to please place your foot, you can put it like this, or even like this you know if you're touring with this bike going long distance the foot placement like you sometimes you want to change you know because you can get cramp or soft so it's good to have an option for you to change as you're riding lah. the right hand is 80 cm so supposedly both of my feet can actually flat foot on the ground for most bikes but because uh, the Kimco DTX 360 is kind of wide especially the seat as you can see is very wide uh, and even the body also 
kind of like um, the X-Max. The ball on my foot can only touch the ground. I reckon it's not that bad because I'm already used to it on my NC750, but I think vertically challenged riders may have an issue with it. Lah. Being a Maxi scooter, right, you're supposed to be that versatile two-wheeler that we have come to expect. So storage space, uh, there's this storage cubby right in front here where there's a USB port, you can actually charge your items on the go and it's quite deep, I can actually fit my uh, S21 inside and also under seat storage there's no official specs on how many liters this is but uh, it's quite huge, can fit a full face helmet inside as in my case, my modular helmet can actually fit inside and I think some reviewers have actually tried to fit in two helmets but for me, I tried to fit my pillance helmet and my helmet inside but fortunately cannot fit well it's kind of huge like actually I think almost as huge as the X-Max <laughs> I'll be comparing this bike quite a lot with the X-Max uh, because since this is kind of like similar in nature and there's also a built-in light when you're opening the underseat storage where it gives you a bit of visibility at the night uh. oh and I actually forget to address this uh, the seat it's actually kind of comfortable, it's actually not that hard, it's actually kind of soft, uh, not that bad in my personal opinion and I did ride the bike around for a while yesterday and my butt isn't sore at all, you know, it's a very nice comfortable sitting position so let's talk about the technology that is on the DTX 360 yeah? Um, keyless transponder, all LED lighting all around, ABS on the front and rear, full color digital LCD gauge cluster with a built-in voltmeter, switchable traction control able to turn it on and off, and this feature which I feel that is kind of gimmicky but also at the same time maybe useful when you're going touring you know and you're riding the highway roads is what I like to call the analog based traction control. Analog based traction control meaning like there's actually a plastic cap here in which you're able to tighten the throttle and lock it in place so that as you're riding it will just stay in that speed lah and when you want to close the cruise control you simply just close the throttle along with the cruise control screw and let's have a look at the handlebar controls uh, pretty standard and straightforward as with any other motorcycle of a uh, scooter in the scooter category yeah. so high beam low beam signal and also the traction control button over here next to the high beam and there's also the engine cutoff switch the hazard lights over here and also three buttons to actually toggle the LCD display to toggle between the trip meter, odometer, etc. So horn check. <laughs> kind of high pitch, and uh, yeah, it, it does uh, bring in the attention to you lah. <laughs> Finally, we have to talk about the DTX 360's uh, general design. It's a uh, general outlook. It's recognizably a maxi scooter. It doesn't try to be too radical, you know, as with the XADV some of the Pagio models uh. however uh, there's some similar lines adapted from the Forza and the uh, XADV from the headlights and the orange accents right these are definitely uh, inspired <laughs> inspired from the Hondas sharp and angular lines gives it a adventure a rugged kind of feel and look to it you know and also not to mention the adventure beak is also present on the DTX 360 uh, <laughs> is to show you that it's basically an adventure motorcycle. So for the Singapore market, currently Motorsport is carrying the black and orange color, which is the one I'm reviewing. And also this black and silver crystal one, which replaced the orange with a silver accent on it. Machine price is 11,000 with the current December COE, uh, it's 22,400. So there's a package for this, and this package includes half a year of road tax, IU unit, a 42 liter shard box, one helmet and raincoat. There's also a one year unlimited mileage warranty for engine components by the factory. And wow, I don't even realize that I'm going at 50 km per hour already. I mean, <laughs> it's really that smooth, that comfortable of a ride. It just takes away the troubles of uh, riding a scooter, you know. And I have to say that, you know, in the expressway when you're riding the DTX 360, right, uh, you tend to uh, go above 90 because it's so smooth you don't feel like you're going 90 right so you really need to be aware of the speed limit lah and I think this is due to the bike's nature given that this is so called an adventure bike so when you are riding touring with this bike right you want to feel comfortable and enjoy the ride so the DTX 360 probably an awesome bike to go on a tour lah but 
Kimco has marketed the DDX 360 as an adventure crossover lah. In actuality, it's not that much of an adventure bike. It's more to a touring scooter similar to the T-Max and uh, this would be, I would say that this would be some sort of a class 2A kind of like T-Max uh, because it really is targeted for touring riders, you know, riders especially in Europe where scooters are the norm in his home country of Taiwan where scooters literally dominate the streets and Kimco is the biggest scooter manufacturer in Taiwan they really built the DTX 360 for those cross-country touring trips the way they build the bike and the handling and the riding comfort really takes away all of the troubles of riding a bike and it, it just it's just pure riding pleasure lah, when you are riding the DTX 360 yeah. so I could picture myself like I'm going to the mountainous roads of Thailand and Mae Hong Son uh, <laughs> the DTX 360 is, is able to do well and my personal opinion I think it's meant to compete with the likes of the X-Max and the Honda Forza uh, as you can see from the design itself there's like little, little hints of Honda Forza and it's almost as wide as the X-Max those two scooters they're like the most common class 2A scooters around you know? everywhere you look there's gonna be an X-Max and not so common is the Forza lah. You know, but I think this would be a good third option for our class 2A riders you know? and if you're looking for something that is slightly technologically uh, updated <laughs> to the 2021 era's bike right I think the DTX 360 is gonna do justice I mean there's like traction control it has dual sport tires by the way so it's able to take on those slightly rough roads and compacted sand like sandy paths I've seen the official Kimco video about this bike and they really brought it out to the dirt path to the gravel it's a light off-road bike and its capabilities its technological features uh, really makes it on par with, uh, with the T-Max I would say uh, this is kind of like a dialed down version of the T-Max and perhaps you can say even the XADV lah. but the XADV is really an uh, off-roader you know? this is not as extreme as the XADV but it gets the job done if you want to do like gravel or sandy paths you know? if you're looking for something unique other than the X-Max other than the Forza right you can consider the DTX 360 uh, I mean there's agent support here like from Motorsport Private Limited and Chong Ike has all of the accessories for the DTX right so I don't think aftermarket parts and serviceability would be an issue I mean Kimco also has a presence in Malaysia and Thailand it's really a well built machine with just enough tech for you to experience the riding comfort of riding down the highway I mean I could picture myself yeah, in the rural roads of Malaysia just on the DTX 360 just enjoying the ride you know not need to worry about anything else and just concentrate on the road in front of me we couple with the storage space and just enough riding tech for you to enjoy the ride for the pleasure of it okay so I'm gonna conclude this review because <laughs> it's raining right now <laughs> to end off my review Kimco will need to build up their brand if they want to win the hearts of our class 2A riders. Hopefully, they will be swayed away from the X-Maxes and Forzas with the DTX 360. And it might just be a force to be reckoned with.